What's up everyone? My name is McClure at MXCLVRE. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of my home studio. This is a spare bedroom in my two bedroom apartment in Los Angeles that I've been converting into a recording studio and music production space for the past few months. Pretty happy about how it's turned out so far. Obviously still building and adding more, but let's take a look at what it looks like now. So here we are stepping into the control room, production room. Uh, it's a pretty small room, about 150 square feet. So space management is definitely key in here. Um, so starting from here, have a little couch, table, make the clients comfortable, any um, collaborators that come over you can chill here set the laptop up here it's a little lounge space listening space and moving over here you have a little drum set just to add some organic elements to production like the layer snares hi-hats all that stuff percussion we have my Fender uh, Hot Rod Deluxe. I use mostly amp simulations for recording, but sometimes it's just nice to run guitar through a cab. Also use the Helix there, LN6. I'm using that a lot lately for effects and cabinet simulation. Uh, moving over here, we have the desk that takes up most of the room. Uh, it's the output platform desk. Loving it so far. It's really well built. It's solid. Looks great. Has plenty of space. It has this pull out keyboard tray that will fit a full 88 key keyboard. Uh, for monitors, you have the Atom Audio T7V, which sound great. My mixes have really been translating well using these. Uh, and of course, in addition with the acoustic treatment, that really helps. Um, these are just 7-inch monitors, so I didn't really feel the need to go with 8-inch uh, woofers in this room. Because it's such a small room. have the SM7B for recording. Uh, I also use it for talkback for the booth, the vocal booth, which is a separate, <laughs> separate room. I'll show you guys that later. Um, have... The heart of the studio here is a PC, uh, window, running Windows 11, and of course Ableton is my primary DAW. As far as converters, I have the Apollo Twin by UAD. So I use that for recording, mixing, love UAD stuff. Um, this is a Keychron mechanical keyboard. I think it's really important to invest in a good keyboard and mouse as a producer, engineer. I mean, it's what you're touching all the time, all day. So it's good to just have good quality one that you're comfortable with. I love the stuff from Keychron. It's great. Uh, in the rack space here, don't have much right now. I have a 500 series chassis by Midas with nothing in it at the moment. But big plans for that. Um, moving over to some storage over here, have the Behringer Poly D analog synth I just got. It's great. Love that. And some keyboard controllers, uh, the Ableton Push 2 back there. I use sometimes for drum programming, uh, mixing, just navigating Ableton. If you have Ableton, definitely look at getting a Push. It's just a great controller to have. If you're a primarily Ableton user. And here we have Guitar World over here. I'm a guitarist, so of course I have all the bases covered. Have Telecaster over here. On the end, just a standard Telecaster, a Stratocaster that I've had. 
forever now. Um, this is a nylon string, kind of a cheaper brand, but gets the job done. Gets that sound. And then the Ibanez hollow body. Don't use this as much these days, but it's my only guitar with humbuggers, actually. Uh, then we have a Taylor acoustic, a six string banjo. Just an Ibanez bass, just some things to make sure all the bases are covered for production. And then on the wall we have Ibanez mandolin and a ukulele. So everything's covered to get those, you know, organic elements in production. Uh, headphones have the Bayer Dynamic. Focus here. Bayer Dynamic DT50, DT150. It's a great for tracking. And so when I do tracking in this room, I usually use these. Great headphones, great isolation. And then for mixing, I'll use the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pro open back. Those are great headphones for uh, mixing, listening back. But honestly, I'm doing mostly stuff with the monitors these days because the vocal booth is in a different room. The recording booth. So that's all of that. Uh, the acoustic treatment on the walls. I made myself. I have a video on that. You want to see how I made those panels. So I have a few panels in the room. Uh, it sounds pretty good in here. So, not too many panels, but that's really all we needed. Um, in this classic mirror closet, uh, bedroom type closet here, we have just storage, guitar cases, a bunch of cables, of course, all kinds of cables. I have a cable for pretty much everything at this point. But uh, mostly storage. So that's how you know we're in a bedroom when you have these classic closet, mirror closet doors. And that is pretty much it for the control room, production room. Really happy with how this place turned out. So now we're going to go to the vocal booth. Which is going to be in a different room. Down the hallway here. Say hi to Robbie, the dog. And in here is where we do vocals. Just a hallway closet that's been converted to a vocal booth. This is the Slate ML1 mic. I use for pretty much everything. Um, so in this closet space, we just put up some foam here, two inch foam. And these are curtains here. It's kind of hard to see, but this is just storage space behind these curtains. But it's pretty good vibe for vocalists. Haven't had any complaints about recording in here. The lights, of course, and they change colors. There's plenty of space in here. It doesn't sound uh, like too boxy, like some DIY vocal booths. It sounds pretty good, pretty natural, not natural. Pretty happy with how this turned out. And I just run these super long cables from this room to the other room, the control room. And it's pretty sound isolated there. And yeah, that is it. So coming back to control room. I think that's everything. Maybe the last thing is these clouds that I put up. Another DIY project there. Just helps with uh, desk reflections, getting accurate width in your mixes. Uh, and that is pretty much it. So that's the tour of the space. If you have any questions about the setup, 
or any of the DIY things that I've done in the studio, please drop a comment. Also, please like this video and subscribe for more content. And thank you for watching.